I'm uploading every day in July. Hello everybody, what's up, it's Daniel. Leah's back here, I asked her to be in the intro with me. What? A spider came out of the... Oh, a spider came out of the squirrel. Trip's over. We are here in Sedona, Arizona today. We just got here and I did a little house tour for you. We also have two other guests up here. Where's Jasmine? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Here's our house. Subscribe. So this is the driveway where we parked. There's also like an extra parking space that's like carved out right there. Super cool for guests, I guess. Then you walk over here. Go up these little steps. I just almost broke that kind of because it's kind of how you access the backyard because the door doesn't unlock. And here is the front door. Oh my goodness. So this is what you see like right when you walk in. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be based on the listing. There's like a large amount of couches. Over here we have this two-seater. There's like an ottoman over here, a coffee table. I'm sure this has amazing views because the deck does. Oh yeah. Holy crap. The Airbnb owners left us all these little cute informational booklets and whatnot. Another window, a stove, which maybe we can roast marshmallows in there. That'd be awesome. There's remotes for like a ton of stuff I'm noticing. That's for the fireplace. I guess that's a fireplace and not a stove. It looked like a wood burning stove from like the olden days. What the f No way. Corey. Oh my God, don't screw with me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This gives me a huge museum vibe. Like this whole great room with no hallways or anything in it. And then like this showcase of all these items. It's super cute. This couch faces the window with the amazing view. Literally stunning. Oh my gosh. Jasmine's literally in the tree. So another reason to watch the vlog. Mustang picture, a poker table, which is super cool. This ginormous TV, which I guess if you're sitting on this couch, it makes sense. But the chandelier is a little weird how it's placed but also for like breakfast in the morning or at the poker table you can watch I don't know something in the background like the news I'm obsessed with like homes that have two stories with and a story if that makes sense like it's not a full second story to the house but there's like little steps that go higher and there's like a cute little like I don't know doorway what do you call this it's just like an entryway to the kitchen a little dinette right here with another chandelier super haunted <laughs> I don't know where the lights are for this Found them. All of this cabinet space and counter space, a dishwasher, the fridge, which sometimes if you like go to an Airbnb, there's like leftover stuff in the fridge, but that didn't happen this time, unfortunately. Oh wait. Okay, baking soda. I got this super cute gas range. And this is what it looks like from the top. I'm so obsessed with this house. Like, I hope you can tell in the video, but like the listing made it almost look smaller, which is probably what they don't want to do. But I'm glad we were in for a little surprise. I'm also kind of obsessed with these windows over here. Nice ceiling fan, because we are in the middle of Arizona. This is a chest for the air mattress. And I think you put shoes there. Air conditioning unit. We have a little thermometer right here. I did not see that before. This goes down to the garage, which is like off limits to the Airbnb guests, because they store their personal items in there so it's locked but that is super creepy and at night it's gonna be even creepier then there's a couple more steps and this leads straight into an office area oh my gosh I'm literally like scared pictures just a nice office with a cool view of the trees the neighbor's house these look like kind of abstract I don't know if that's the right word to use I'm not an artist but they're paintings of the red rocks which is like Sedona's trademark. We have a game shelf with a ton of games right here. Definitely gonna play a couple tonight. That's our plan. Another picture. This is a closet with just like some essentials in it. And then this is bathroom number one, which has a clawfoot tub, which I've never like even <laughs> seen one of those in person, but they're pretty fancy in my book. A little mirror here. Hello. Storage cabinet slash surface <laughs> to store stuff. The toilet, sink, another mirror. Cute little lights right here couple towel racks and a stained glass window, very fancy. This is bedroom number one. We found out that this mechanical horse actually moves, which um, since we already thought this house was haunted was terrifying to us. These two closets have just more essentials in them. They don't connect, which is a little bit odd because there are two closets like right next to each other. Two beds and then the horses. We have some decorations right here, a dresser. Let's see the view. I have not seen the view from this window yet. Oh, that's nice. Also the creepiest picture ever. 
right there. And there's also a mirror on the other side of this door. This is bedroom number two. I would consider this like the master bedroom. It has a big bed and then another ottoman, a dresser. We have a couple decorations. I love the walls in this room. It makes it feel very cabin-y and vacation-y. More decorations above the bed, another mirror. This is a deck that like looks out to the driveway. So you can just walk all along here. Don't judge my bare feet. It's like the backyard area. Got a couple bird feeders, very nature-y. <laughs> I feel like I'm adding Y to a lot of words to make them adjectives. This is the most beautiful view ever. Are you kidding me? The birds chirping and the wind chime. It just makes it so relaxing. And this is just that entryway and our car down there. This is another bathroom with a closet in it for more essentials. Another mirror with windows above it. We have a rule that this shower over here stays open at all times because it would be super creepy if it was closed. That's a creepy clock. Another mirror. This is actually super cute. I love this. And another closet, which is pretty large, especially like for a bathroom. I guess this is like their walk-in closet, but it just combines with the bathroom. I think that does it for the inside. So I'm gonna go outside now and show you that area. This just leads to the backyard, which has people in it. Hello. This is the backyard. It has a hammock, which I don't think we were aware of. I'm not sure. A swing, which is two whole inches off the ground. The sun is going to set soon, so that's going to be beautiful, which is also why I'm doing this now, so I don't have to like do this when it's dark, obviously. And this is the whole backyard. I haven't seen this part yet. It's hard to tell where like the property lines end and the other property lines begin. This is like the whole area. And then there's like a little shed. I don't really know since it's an Airbnb what I'm supposed to go to and what I'm not supposed to. So I'm not gonna approach anything I'm kind of questioning. But yeah, and then that's that door that we couldn't figure out how to open that leads back to the indoor area. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the vlogs. Make sure you watch them to keep up to date on what we're doing here in Sedona. And uh, we're having a great time so far. We literally just got here. We drove seven hours, so we're pretty tired. But I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. I will see you guys tomorrow with the first of two vlogs, I believe. I believe I'm just splitting the whole trip into two parts because I don't want to make them too long of vlogs and too short of vlogs would also be bad. I'm uploading every day in July, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you wanna see um, on my channel in the future. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.